remember the very powerful presentation that PPC has presented us. Let us think about the fact that the trend of issues in the 21st century university is changed. How to run universities and the affairs that we are faced with are very different. I think we still make mention of the technology. She made mention of student numbers becoming a big factor. She made mention of the fact that government support is dwindling. And these things call for new ways of doing things. So we could have a parent who a relative who was here 20 years ago and how they operated. Things have changed. Vice Chancellors and Deans and Heads of Departments and staff have to become very business minded and very creative. You are very, very important in the running of the university and in our determination of our destiny. I am very computer savvy and I follow lots of uh, statuses and social media and things that go on. I'm looking at some of you who have just returned from being away for several weeks of doing a Roman riot. So I think Christy said, you are not necessarily the face of the university. I, I respectfully disagree with her. You were there in places where I have never been to. And by the posture, by the manner in which you displayed and you did your work, we, I know for a fact, because I know you, I saw your pictures, I saw you. People from Kumasi and Mampo and the Tumapo. Some of you were on the radio station, some of you went to different schools, talking to students dressed in different ways, in different uniforms. And depending on the kinds of things you told them, and I know you told them a lot of things, we didn't suddenly get 85,000 students. Part of it was because of your, the way you did your work. The things, yes, it is true, I'm not yeah. So, students don't just get up and decide to come to you, eat of you. Because there is so much bad press. And yet, they come in their numbers. And I have said it, and I, I want to repeat it. Sometimes I believe that it is even the bad press that has been a stronger and very stronger. Because people have come in here and found out of the result that, after all, these were lies. Because the Minister of State said that it was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And, and you see, two weeks ago, so that he came to Jeddah and he told us at the restaurant, at the buffet, that he was amazed. I mean, he said it to the, to the media that he could not believe that over 90% of the infrastructure were done by our internally generated funds. We as management have been stealing the money when at the same time we have been able to put up so much infrastructure that even the Minister of State in charge of tertiary education said he was surprised, he was amazed. Other things he said I will not tell you because other university staff are here. <laughs> <laughs> they may be jealous of us. Because if I told you that he said that we have done better than any university, you will be jealous. <laughs> and then at some point he said, Professor, have you heard of Get Fund? Do you know Get Fund? We don't even, should I say, waste our time looking going after Get Fund. Because we have done well by your input, by your hard work, by your ingenuity. And I'm telling you here, I'm telling you here. There are people sitting here who are not necessarily senior staff, I mean senior members, but who are communicating with me on a daily basis. Some of you, you know it. Some of you are my advisors. Even though you don't carry the title registrar, who is the official advisor of the vice chancellor. But you do it. 
So you are very important. When you are entering the, the administration building where the vice chancellor, pro vice chancellor, finance officer, internal auditors, uh, offices are, the person who sits there and welcomes all the visitors is one of you, not so. The person who is at the registrar's office area, who receives you, who receives our visitors, is one of you. So I think you see, you see, they are not just the bad benches, they are also the fronters for our university. Is it not most of you who stand at the gate as security and salute? Are they not part of you? Yes. So you see, if you were snobbish, if you dressed in certain ways, if you were not official, if you were not serious, you would do a lot of damage to our university. But I'm telling you, from Professor Yanka, who is the Minister of State Tertiary, to Deputy Minister of Education, the Honorable Dr. Aduchum, to many, many other people, uh, Director General GES, Professor Gwesi, Program Mankwa, and uh, the Speaker of Parliament, and all the big people in the country, some from outside the country, who have visited us in the recent years. Every one of them enters here, including my Archbishop Buckle. Pama Buckle. They are like, ah, your place is very nice. Your place is very peaceful. So, where from all these stories that they have been telling us? People were sent from Yoko to come and interview us. Two weeks ago, we were, about three weeks ago, we were at Graphics Corporation. And the people like, the, the, one of the editors said, let me take you around. And I was in a hurry to go, any force. We went to places and they were, oh, oh, this is, uh, is that Professor Fubroni? They said, ah, can you imagine one of, one of them said, ah, you are nicer than I thought. <laughs> Can you imagine? And, and one, of the, one of the teams from Yoko, when they came here and they interacted with us, he said, ah, all these things that they have been saying, ah, 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 then you know how they concluded, can we take, a, can we take some pictures with you? <laughs> all these good things are being done by you. We will continue to do our best to support you. If you leave us alone, we are going to be in trouble. The last thing any leader wants to see is a group of workers who are disgruntled. There is a lot of power in numbers. There is a lot of power in numbers. That is why we know and encourage you to pray by yourselves in your houses. But on Sunday, in my case, I want you to come to church because we believe that when together we pray, God listens to our prayer. So there's power in your numbers. When you say Chobe, as Vice Chancellor, I will never want to see any Chobe in front of the administration building. <laughs> and so I am begging you, whatever we can do to continue this beautiful relationship, let us do it. We have enjoyed ourselves and we want to thank you very much. Thank you. Wow.